So, so you're saying that, that having a certain amount of money doesn't bring happiness at all? Because I would actually disagree with that. You can disagree with it if you want to. Yeah. Um, but money has nothing to do with your happiness. There's a man in the shanty house who wakes up in the worst, terrible environment. He meditates, goes out, his own job the whole fucking day to get a piece of bread, something to sustain him. Goes around, speaks to the townspeople. He don't get bread, they give it to him, they love him, right? He's a good dude. He, he has a good time, he speaks to everybody, he does everything, lives life, goes back to his place, he meditates, goes to sleep. There's a banker who wakes up. The stock market goes crazy. This nigga says, oh, I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> oh shit, I'm, all, I'm balling. That nigga's balling, right? And then the market crashes. <laughs> Sad. This emotional roller coaster. The world is constantly moving up and down. You have to keep equanimity in mind. Yeah. Happiness. People think, oh, he's cool, that's not happy. <clears throat> this idea of mind fluctuating from extremely happy to extremely sad or you know, jumping up on a table and all that's the bullshit. There's no happiness in that. Happiness is in seeing beauty everywhere. That's real sustainable happiness. And of course there's a moment that makes you laugh. It's just the moment that took all the noise away. Have the noise gone and see what happens. Imagine living in a space where you can see God's beauty in all things. That's enlightenment. That's what you're trying to get, not a shot of excitement. Yeah, Them sneakers is brand new. They nice. Right. It's the Yeezys. Not homophobic. Those are the Yeezys? Yeah, these are the Yeezys. Those are the sneakers? Yeah. Oh my God, you got to call him and get a pair of sneakers. Ming Lee's birthday. She is bugging me and driving me <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> Ming Lee, I, that's the sneaker I could get her? This is one of them. It's the Yeezy 350s, the low tops. Those are the sneakers I could get her? She sees the picture on my. Here, there's a picture of the sneakers she wants from Yeezy. Sexy? Yes, un under her name. It's a couple days old, and I promised her. And Lucy was like, you better get her sneakers or your shitty dad in the background. <laughs> Just trying to, you know, your girlfriend be trying to be plant pandered to your girl, right. your daughters. Because she's young, trying to make friends with, you know. And yeah, I want a pair too. No, bitch, you're not getting them. Mm -hmm. But Ming has to get them. It's her birthday. And if she wants them, if I can get two, get Lucy a pair. Yeah. And they make these in girl sizes too, so, you know. It's like kind of girly that right now. I'm shit. Things are kind of girly. I love Kanye and I love everything about him, but I don't like them sneakers in particular. The one she sent me look cooler than that. I was just so making those black fun ones. Of them. There's also like, high how tops. How much them shits cost? Uh, retail or resale? Re retail two hundred. How much resale? Resale. Like Fifteen hundred. Oh word! I'm not that <laughs> nigga. Better. <laughs> 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 okay, those sneakers cost fifteen hundred. Let me just tell you about those sneakers. Yeah. Dumb motherfuckers look like I could make them shits in Hong Kong for a dollar. I mean, they probably do make them for a I dollar. tell Ming Lee, I take her shopping, I buy a Chanel scarf, because, like, you know, when you're a dad and your kids in boarding school, yeah. do whatever the fuck they ask, right. especially they're rich kids. And they get A's, and they're perfect, and they're wonderful. And when it, but then I take them out on the street, I see a handheld scarf. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, handmade, beautiful scarf. Mm -hmm. It's $100. Beautiful. And you're buying this bullshit Chanel scarf, or you get this fucking Hermes bracelet. Yeah. It's plastic. Not that precious metal is precious, but if it were, it's plastic any fucking way. It's an Hermes bracelet. Yeah. You think money, a Hermes bracelet's gonna make you happy? Uh, I think what makes me happy is that when you have the ups and downs of life and, and things hit you unexpectedly and you have a bank account that, that can support you through the ups and downs and you don't have to- You can to only sit your ass in one seat at a time. Right. But but having fuck how rich you coming are. coming from no money to having I come a from the hood, nigga. We, we, me too. Hollis, it wasn't that terrible, but it was a lower middle class neighborhood until heroin hit it. Then I, I, I was really yeah. bad. I was Russian immigrants, first Russian generation, immigrants. so, so what come from mean? literally from nothing. Look, look, I mean, what potatoes, nigga? You have potatoes? Yeah, we have potatoes. But, but <laughs> what else with it? I'm saying it. I mean, at the time we moved, really? we didn't have potatoes. That meat that I mean, they I, gave you when you got rich poisoned you. What what can they give you in the world that would make you happy? Stability. Stability, I mean, when you, nigga, when you, you get hit by a car. You got no stability. You, Fuck well, out of I mean, here. When you have nothing, what stability do you have? Uh, stability. I have a good amount of stability. You know, as my you life changes, money? huh? Like money? Yeah. I mean, but you know, as unexpected things happen, as family situations happen, as business situations happen, family um, shit. You know, I'm, I'm able to to weather it all because of the, all the work that I've done up to this point. You know, whereas at the point when I was broke, one bad situation. You know, you'd be really right. fuck you up. 
How fuck you up how? Tell me what I did to you. I've been homeless before. How was that? It sucked. Like, wow, homeless. Yeah, it was the worst. Really, God's watching uh, like this, because if you were God, you'd be like, oh shit, homeless. Let me try that out. It's just a fucking game, kid. There's nothing they can give you in the world to make you happy or unhappy. Nothing. Your inside, uh, your perception of happiness is all that matters. The happy homeless guy is shitting all over your rich ass uh, in the game of life. Because he's going to check out and you're going to check out. None of y'all niggas going to make it out of here alive. And they're never, they're never going to give you anything that's going to make you any more or less happy. I'm sorry if that depresses you. But you've been focused on money most of your life. No, I was focused on, thing, focused on things I liked and they brought me money. I never did success with nothing I didn't love. Okay. I love empowering these comedians. But you became I love, rich. I love, yeah, I became rich making music. Making music in your other businesses? Making fashion? I made clothes, I loved it. Right. Now I'm happy I'm shipping my clothes at pennies. I'm giving all the profit away. And my clothes will be the quality that they were at Macy's and they hit pennies. They're going to be a fucking smash, we hope. And I'm going to give the money away. And niggas be wearing all our culture. It's gonna be fly. If that's what they, if they, if they fucks with, you know, what I make, right? They can go to pennies and buy it, cheaper. I don't really think that it matters, you know, if your shirt costs more, and then it's the same fucking shirt. It's the same shirt. It really doesn't matter. They're all fabrics that you kind of think is kind of nicer. Right, because some right? fabrics are nicer. Uh, some fabrics are not. You know, your cashmere sweater is not beating up on the fleece. The yeah. soft fleece sweater yeah, that's kind of like, it's not soft. It's the cheap polyester fleece. stuff that gives you the rash as opposed to the nice linen. I mean, you know. I get a rash fucking with cashmere, nigga. Wool yeah. fucks with me. <laughs> Animals wool fucks with me. It makes me itch. I'm just telling the truth. Nothing makes me itch but wool. Well, well you said making money is a pedestrian activity. The challenge is in creating a product or service the world really needs. That's good. Make products the world needs. Yeah. My man's just talking about this product he has that creates clean water that is also being used around the world. It should be in Flint yeah. right now rather than plastic bottles. We got to get him to Larry today, to Michael Skolnick today, Sagan. And you're involved in the whole Flint situation pretty heavily. I am now. I went yesterday. I, you know, I just learned about it. I bought about 150,000 bottles of water and I met and visited some people and all the shit the governor is saying is bullshit. 100 people. That, you know, 100 people. I, I saw. 500 people you know, who I know had lead poisoning. I saw kids, you know, I went to one house, one woman had three kids, all twisted. We did an interview with Eddie Griffin, and uh, in the interview we talked about the whole Bill Cosby thing. There is a systematic effort to destroy every black male entertainment, entertainer's image. They want us all to have an actress by a name. No one leaves this earth clean. And the Mr. Farrakhan said, when he was talking about the LGBT community, was the LGBT? No. He had an excellent Q. He was very good about this subject. It was really good because he thought it was more inclusive this March. And he said, uh, how judge them? How do you judge people? You should love all people. And to my brothers and sisters from the LGBT, you know, thank you for coming. You know, I'm, so, I'm grateful to welcome you. I thought it was great for Farrakhan to say that because Muslims in general are known to be homophobic. He says, I cannot judge the beautiful sister who helped build a march, one of the girls from the Black Lives Matter thing helped build a march. She's wonderful, openly gay. He turns to the preachers and then he says, which of us, as a million people or whatever, this last march, can claim no sin, stand up, and the whole, everybody went like this, a whole million people. And the preachers were, he said, and you who judge, you know, we got congregation, girlfriends, and that was a terrible thing. Funny thing, though, nobody leaves here clean. Somebody may wash away sin. Uh, and I don't mean sin when I don't use the word, it sounds heavy. Wash away experiences and this idea of enlightenment or choiceless awareness or only doing God's work or being totally present and awake and alive in God's vessel. This idea is promoted in every religion, taqwa for Muslims, samadhi for yogis, Christ consciousness or heaven on earth for Christians. The Kabbalah has it, but the Jews don't have it, but it's such a thing in the Kabbalah, I don't know what the word is, but there's a term for total God consciousness. Without that, everyone's, everyone suffers from some uh, imperfection. So, uh, to the degree that, uh, and entertainment 
person's image is tarnished is the same degree that most people watching have some degree of some kind of tarnish. Yeah. You know, to put someone on a pedestal and think that they're perfect is a stretch. You know, um, I don't, so I don't really have a comment on, you know, Mr. Cosby. I, I have heard stories, firsthand accounts. I, not to judge, but I, I, I believe that he's, obviously there's so much smoke, got to be some fire, right? Right? I don't think the conspiracy. I didn't think 50, that. 50 something women. Conspiracy is a meat industry <laughs> <laughs> telling you tofu is poison when their food is poison. The conspiracy is the money is being spent to damage movement to, you know, away from businesses that are specific allegations that are not true, that they want to you know, make true. Or these things, those are business things you have reason for. Look, I work with them on Mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys. Give you the shirt off their back. Is it, is it ironic? Is it, is it a coincidence that they both, most of their friends are white and got white wives? They like white women? I, I mean. Then they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house. They girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 